This is Twit. Hi, Leo. Thanks for taking my call. My pleasure. Well, so I, um, I had a Windows crash with my XP software, and I took the computer apart. And I think it was dirt that was uh, causing misconnections. Anyway, I got it up and running. Now I'm having a difficult time getting it up to where it will connect to the Internet because of uh, uh, service packets or updates. And I'm wondering, uh, like Google Chrome, it will not allow me to download Google Chrome or um, any Firefly. Um, I am able to get on. Uh, limited amount with the Internet Explorer, and I'm just wondering if you have any recommendations on how I could solve the connection problems. Everything else on the computer works fine. Is there any way you can get a new computer? Yeah, the the reason I'm trying to hang on to this is I have a lot of photography peripheral software, and I'm uh, just tired of paying thousands of dollars every time I have to re-up my so software. Here, here's the deal. As you know, I'm sure XP has uh, it reached what, what Microsoft calls its end of life. Cool. Last April, they stopped updating it. Uh, they stopped updating Internet Explorer even earlier. So IE8, which is the latest version you can get on that, is absolutely not safe to use. Right. The fact that you can't install Chrome worries me. Yeah. Because when... Uh, so <laughs> when you say dirty, like, did you vacuum? <laughs> how did, no, how actually, dirty was it? <laughs> I actually opened it. I opened the case up, saw there was a lot of lens and a lot of... Yeah. So you'd never opened it in the whole time you'd owned this for the ten plus years you'd owned this you'd never opened it. No, I've I've cleaned it a couple of times, but I, I never think it's dirty. Before. If you think of it, it, it's a it's a tower case. Uh, yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. So if you think about it, the way the fans are arranged, is to draw air in and blow it out, so yeah. air is passing through it. So of course every bit of dust and lint and dog hair and everything just accumulates in there. So I got to tell you, I've cleaned I've cleaned out the front part many times, but I've never taken it completely apart. And the amount that was backed up behind the motherboard and the case was amazing. So I that Absolutely. was the first time I got that far. So yeah, a so. couple of things could have happened. I mean. Uh, it could have been damaged in the in the crash because the the dirt what the 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 impact of the dirt is heat it prevents the cooling from occurring and even acts as a blanket uh, mm -hmm. on top of components so it could be some components the reason it crashed is some components overheated cleaning it out certainly helped um but it doesn't mean there wasn't some long-term damage but every you say everything's working fine did you reinstall windows or did you just kind of stick with the existing hard drive i uh no, I reinstalled. I formatted the hard drive. Oh, so you have a clean install of XP. Absolutely. That's Never good news. That means you have no no viruses on there because you wiped them out, if there were right. any. And right. then you um, tried to do the updates. What happened? I, I was able to update the SP3, Service Pack 3. Good news. Uh, That's important. Like said, but like I said, everything offline works perfectly. It, it zips. It's fast. It's like the new computer. It's just trying to download Chrome and uh, Firefly. It says that something is blocking it. Some 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 program is blocking it. And you can it. use Google otherwise fine? You can go to Google.com, no problem? I cannot. No, I can go to Internet Explorer. It no, but can you go to the Google web page in Internet Explorer? Can you can you go to uh, Google.com? Let me try that. I don't think so. Please. I wonder if Google's being blocked. If Google's being blocked, that's... A, so, I don't know how you could possibly have been infected by anything so quickly, but... I am. I can go to Google.com. Okay. But you can't go to google.com slash chrome? Let me try adding chrome on that. You'd like to use chrome. Google says we're going to keep chrome up to date for XP uh, well into 2015. Right. Uh, it is possible to use XP safely. We don't recommend it, but it's but it's certainly possible uh, with a few changes to the way you work. You know, the biggest threat to uh, any computer is how you behave. Updated, yeah. So, and I behave. I mean, I, I, I never get viruses. It's when you go to google.com slash chrome, what happens? Uh, security alert, and I get a ton of these. View certificate. It says information. Ah, check the date on your computer. It's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a very this can happen and, and with an older computer the date doesn't get held because the battery is dead so you may need to replace the battery on the motherboard your computer is back in 19 you know 38 or something i, I did that and you're right it was a 2003 so, yeah. I mean, so all those certificates are broken because the date is wrong certificates okay. are date based if you go back to 2003 that certificate it predates the certificate so the the browser goes i don't know this is wrong something's really wrong and won't let you hit it so simply set the date and time correctly you may need to get a new battery usually on motherboards of that type there's just a little uh, 
quarter size lithium battery that you pop yeah, in there. Yeah, it all apart, I changed that, and I, the last thing I did was to wipe the hard drive, and I kind of wish I hadn't done that now because I would have been able to do it. But I'll bet you have solved my problem. I think I have. It was just bad certificates because the date was wrong. Fix the date. Uh, if the date doesn't hold when you turn the computer off, you'll need to get a new battery in there. Uh, that's typical on computers of this age. The battery obviously doesn't go forever. Um, and then, uh, please, here's how you can use XP safely. Very important, all of this. First of all, don't use Internet Explorer. That old version is unsafe. You're smart to go to google.com slash chrome. It's, free. it's a free download. The beauty part is, besides being more secure, and Google is keeping it up to date, it has Flash built in. You don't need to download Flash, which is another security nightmare. Google has its kind of keeps it up to date in its own version. It keeps Chrome up to date. It's much safer. Do all your browsing with Chrome. You can't uninstall Internet Explorer, but it's best not to use it. You'll have to use it for Windows Update, things like that. Now, the good news is you don't have to worry about Windows Update because... There aren't going to be any more. You have applied all the updates. Service Pack 3 is the most important. Uh, make sure you get all the rest since then. Uh, and then here's the number one thing you can do. This fix fixes 94%, according to some research, of all uh, malware exploits. 94% just don't work anymore. That means most of the stuff you run into on the Internet by not running as an administrator. Very important. Now, the steps on this are, <laughs> I've, I've, I've screwed some people up, so I want to make sure <laughs> that you do this right. In your existing account, you can create a new account, because you're an administrator now, and this is the risk. And, 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 and computer companies did this because it was easier, they didn't have to support you, but you don't want to run as administrator, because you, the rights that you have, the things you can do as administrator, malware can do. So you want to run as a standard or limited user. So what you're going to do is create a new account, Make that an administrator account. You know, you can, and call it something that you know, like, you know, uh, I don't know, Richard the Administrator. <laughs> so, and, and give it a good password. It doesn't have to be the best in the world. Just a good password. Now, log out of your existing account, which is also administrator. Log into Richard the Administrator and downgrade the existing account, the one you use day to day, to a standard user. I think in, in the XP they call it limited user. And you're going to use that one unless you have to update or install software, something, you know, where you want power. Day-to-day, -day, use the limited user. You'll be, mu like, infinitely safer.